Hello, and welcome to my accounting 2310 pen cast. I have a goal for this pen cast. That goal is to journal entry, journalize entries for percentage of completion, and also to post and look at the accounts in the general ledger and in the financial statements on the balance sheet. We did the income statement on our last pen cast. So journalized entries, percentage of completion, could the entries in their general ledger accounts, and the balance sheet. Again, I'm going to be using problem 5.5 from the Spice on Intermediate Accounting textbook. You won't need to pull that out, though, because I've reproduced that problem on the paper for you. In my approach, I'm going to do 2013 first. And then I am going to post to the general ledger accounts and look at the balance sheet for 2013 and then do the same for 2014 and 15 as well. Let's get started and we'll work with our numbers as they appear in the columns above. In 2013, our construction costs were 2400000 So I will put into construction and progress 2 million. 400,000. It doesn't really say how I paid for those, so let's just assume we put that on accounts payable. It doesn't really matter to our discussion. We have now journalized the costs incurred for creating this project for 2013. Let's move down now to the third number, billings. We bill our customers along the way when we're doing long-term construction contracts because you can't really pay for $10 million of a project or a value of $10 million retail. You can't really afford to pay for all of that out of your own pocket. We need to pass some of those costs on to our customer. We do that through billings. We debit an account called billings, which is unique to the construction industry. And what that account does is um, oops, you know what? Let's fix that. We debit accounts receivable because we bill our customers for two million and we credit billings. And that's common to the construction industry. And billings is a contra account. It's contra to construction and progress. Right now we have two million four hundred thousand in construction and progress and we've asked our customers to pick up two million of it. Totally reasonable. So let's move on to our third number. How much cash did they give us this year? One million eight hundred thousand. Let's debit cash because we received one million eight hundred thousand and take it out of accounts receivable. They no longer owe us that much. When you're doing percentage of completion accounting, you have one more entry you need to make, the entry to record the gross profit. We calculated that on our first pin cast for 2013, and if you'll recall, that entry was to tuck into construction and progress gross profit in the amount of 600000 to pick up cost of construction in the amount of 2,400,000, our costs for the year, and pick up revenue in the amount of 3 million. So there's our journal entry. Revenue, 3 million, cost of construction, 2,400,000, and gross profit being tucked into the construction and progress account in the amount of 600000 Let's pulse these accounts and see where we are. We have accounts receivable that we want to keep track of. We have construction in progress that we want to keep track of. And we have Billings, which is a Contra account, to that. I'm not going to do 
on the income statement accounts because we already did that on our first pin cast. Let's just pick up the balance sheet accounts and post them. Construction of Progress has $2,400,000 in it and that's the amount of Construction of Progress today. My accounts receivable. I billed my clients $2 million and I show that as billings. So I post both of those and then I post the amount of collections and accounts receivable, 1,800,000. I don't need to post cash. I want to post one more account since we're looking at construction and progress. Our revenue was tucked in there. Please note that construction and progress now has our costs plus our revenue to date. How would that look on our balance sheet? Well, we would have some current assets to look at. One of our current assets is accounts receivable. And you can see accounts receivable has a $200,000 balance in it right now. So we would show that as our current asset. Our construction and progress currently shows $3 million some of which is profit, some of which is costs. So we would have construction in progress, three million. And from that we would say less our billings because we have passed that on to our customers in the amount of two million. Since our construction in progress is bigger than our billings, we have a net number. We have net, we have construction and progress in excess of billings. And so it would be shown as a current asset in the amount of one million. So we have two current assets. Accounts receivable, 200,000. Construction and progress, one million. That's how 2013 would end up being journalized be shown in the general ledger and look on our balance sheet under current assets. Let's go down to 2014 and do the same thing. We would journalize our construction costs for the year. Notice they are 3,600,000. So we'll make that journal entry. Our billings do the, during the year were four million, so we'll debit accounts receivable for four million and credit billings for four million, passing those costs onto our customer. And notice they paid us three million six hundred thousand, so we'll debit cash for three million six hundred thousand and credit accounts receivable, the amount we've collected. And since it's percentage of completion, I need to pick up my share of costs and revenue for the year. It is that journal entry we made on our first pin cast, so I'm not going to repeat it. Go ahead and reference that. And in 2014, I took 900000 into construction and progress for profit. Have costs of 3600000 can verify that by looking at my costs first line of 2014 and then picked up some of my revenue. If you recall, I'm 75% done by this point and I have picked up 75% of the revenue between the two years. Let's quickly post these. Construction of progress goes up for my current year's costs. Accounts receivable goes up for the amount I billed my clients or customers for. Billings goes up my contra inventory account by four million. I received cash on my accounts receivable of three million six hundred thousand, so I record that. 
And then I tuck into construction and progress profit for this year. Construction and progress now holds two years worth of expenses and two years worth of profits. Where am I on my balance sheet? I have in accounts receivable 600,000, 200,000 plus 4 million minus 3 million, 600,000. Leaves that at 600,000 for this year. Construction in progress is now 3 million plus 3 million 6. That's 6 million 6 plus another 900,000. 7 million 500,000 total. And my billings is now six million. The amount that I have passed on to my customers. So my accounts receivable on the balance sheet, moving out to 2014, a current asset, my accounts receivable is six hundred thousand. My construction in progress is seven million five hundred thousand less my contract account billings of six million and my customer now owes me one million I, or my net inventory cost is one million five hundred thousand so my construction and progress in excess of what I've passed on to my client is one million five hundred thousand my inventory is seven million five hundred thousand, of which my client has paid six hundred thousand or been billed six hundred million or six million for, and the difference is mine. Total interest, my client's interest, my interest. Showing on my balance sheet then is six hundred thousand for my accounts receivable and one million five hundred thousand for my costs in excess of billings. Let's do our last year, 2015. My cost for the year, 2,200,000. Debiting construction of progress. And however I paid for those. My billings during the year, I billed my clients for another 4 million. So I put that in accounts receivable and billings. They've now paid four million six hundred thousand. I am liking that. And those are the entries that capture the current year's activities. Bringing forward my entry we created on the first pink cast in this series. You'll recall that my construction in progress was three hundred thousand. My cost of construction, 2200000 which also agrees with item number one under 2015 above. And the remainder of my contract to bill is 2500000 And if you add up how much I have now picked up as revenue in the three years, you can see it does total the $10 million, our bottom line of journal entries. Let's quickly post these. Construction and process now gets $2,200,000 of current year inventory costs. Accounts receivable goes up for my current year's billings, as does my billings its account itself. Post those. Show my customer's payments. I guess I don't have to post cash, so I don't need a check mark there. Cash goes up and accounts receivable goes down. And then the last account that I tuck into construction and progress is my 300,000. Last year it was 900,000. This year it's 300. And my total construction and progress is 10 million. It houses all of my costs and all of my profit to date. Let's total the rest of my accounts. My accounts receivable is zero, and well, it should be. I've been paid in full. Construction and Progress currently has a $10 million balance and billings. 
currently has a $10 million balance. Because I am through, there is one more journal entry that needs to take place. I need to zero my construction and progress and billings accounts against each other since I no longer have this contract. Since billings has a debit balance, I will, or since billings has a credit balance, I will debit it for $10 million. And since construction and progress has a $10 million balance, all my costs plus all my revenue recognized today, I will credit it. And when I pulse these entries, kind of add a room here, the construction and progress, that account will go to zero. And when I post that to my billings, that account will go to zero. And what you'll see is I have no accounts receivable in 2015, and I have no construction in progress and no billings. In fact, I have nothing. This contract has completely gone onto my income statement and is now living if things have been closed in retained earnings. Thank you for joining me as I looked at journalizing entries for percentage of completion, posting them to the general ledger, and seeing their effects on the balance sheet. That concludes this pencast.